Grace and You Cooking Show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. And of course, it's uh, all ladies in the house this morning. Thank you very much. We are going to be cooking up a storm. And we have, coming all the way from Orange Walk, of course, uh, representatives from Nail Mayab who are going to be cooking up a storm this morning. I'm going to start off with having you ladies introduce yourself, right? Sure. Good morning, Belize. Good morning, Orange Walk. My name is Veronica Castillo. I'm the restaurant manager and bartender, of course. All right. Um, good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Raquel Moreno, and I'm the chef at Nahil Mayab. Good morning, please. I'm um, Angie Lopez. Um, I work at Nahil Mayab as chef, too. All right. I like that we got some professionals in here. That means I'm going to have a delicious meal this morning. So let, let me find out what we're going to be cooking, first of all. What um, are you going to be making? Yeah, we are doing um, grease buttered shrimps with... Um, mango salad and curry potatoes Ooh. but Ooh. first we will start with the salad okay. mango salad all right and what will you be making yeah i'm gonna be um arranging the salad mm -hmm. on the plate so all right we'll be using so we're starting off with an avocado i see avocado as well right yeah mm -hmm. since it's seasoned yeah so it's something yeah. I think unfortunately it yeah. comes in season yes and the mangoes we'll be using oh. um lettuce right romaine okay. lettuce All right. Of course, it could be any type of lettuce to mm -hmm. what, what, whatever liking you would do, you would use. And then I'm gonna arrange some some mangoes okay. here, ripe mangoes. Mm -hmm. So you try to use uh, whatever is in it's season a, at the yeah. time. Yes, the we, we try and mix it up. You can use papayas or whatever fruit you would you would you like. Yeah. Some. Or even oranges, which is oranges, we have yeah. it right through the year. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Some tomatoes and avocado, of course. Ooh. What I must say, Marlene, is that Raquel and Angie, they, they took the Pro Chef um, training, mm -hmm. um, sponsored by um, BTB and OES. And um, Raquel has been with us since, w in August, we're going to be five years that we open our doors wow. to the public. Mm -hmm. And Raquel has been with us since then, from day one. She started as a server, and then she went growing up as a, oh, nice. as a chef. All right. And, and Nail Mayab Ma has also won awards as well. Yes, yeah. in 2010, we uh -huh. won the first place. It, it, for us, it was a nerve-wracking. Um, the, the girls, they come up with so many ideas, you know, with the tacos, which is basically considering orange joak. So we try to make it something different, or a little twist, mm -hmm. being with the team, the Maya, and which I, we have that in our menu. We have okay. Mayan dishes. First of all, Nahil Maya means House of the Mayas, and it's in Yucatec Maya language. Okay. And unfortunately, we don't know to speak a lot of Mayan, but we, we know something, just a small <laughs> little word. We know Nahil Maya. <laughs> yes, Nahil Maya. <laughs> And if you're coming from Belize, guys, is um, you turn to your left, mm -hmm. two streets, two blocks, and then it's there. Or if you're coming from Carrizal, you take a right, then two blocks, and yeah. then we're there. I d and then you know how to find it. Let's. I saw you put some corn over there. Yeah, right so that was what I was gonna quickly mention. Um, I don't want to big up Grace. Okay. Um, whole, whole corn, mm -hmm. sweet corn. And so this is a very simple salad. It's just uh, it's very being, simple. Yeah, you just made the platter together. Yeah, would you um, use any kind of dressing on that? It, that is, if you would, you would. That's your choice. Okay. Yeah. And then you could have it this way, or you could dice it up and mix it up all together. All together. It's mm. all on yeah. That. But it's pretty like that. So yes. you know, part of part of eating is being able to yeah. like what yeah. you see as well. And, and yeah. very important, every time use fish. Fresh, fresh vegetables, vegetables. and yes. fruits, All right, which we can easily find in yeah. Yeah. every day. So our salad is set. Yeah, our salad What's is set. What's next? Yeah. We will start with the potatoes, potatoes. curry potatoes. Mm -hmm. We'll put um, margarine or butter in it, or oil if you want. Okay. Like a tablespoon. Mm-hmm. Um, so tell me a little bit about the process as she's cooking, uh, uh, putting together your dishes. Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, it's, it's ours. Uh -huh. it's ours. <laughs> you just sit in the it's restaurant ours. and say, I want to put some curry on my potatoes. Or I yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we really, um, we, we, we read a lot of books um, 
when we have breaks mm -hmm. in between, like when we are prepping, we read books and then we come up to our own ideas. Mm -hmm. So if we, if we see something, we will say, well, let's, let's do it, do it mm -hmm. on our way. Okay. We always change, change everything and mm -hmm. make it on our, our style. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then we'll drop in the um, sweet pepper. All right. About how much like sweet pepper? Like one, one small diced okay. sweet pepper. Okay. And then like one small diced onion too. Mm -hmm. Let's drop it in. Onion and sweet pepper. That's <laughs> the base for anything good. And then your seasoning. Mm -hmm. Some um, black pepper. This one. Black pepper. So we use or or malher uh, yeah. black pepper there. Yeah. And our green curry powder. Curry powder. That's it's sweet um, curry potato. Now I noticed you didn't put any salt in there. No, because okay. the curry is already salt. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you add your potatoes. But the potatoes, we do like pre-cook it first, okay. so that when you cook it, it's fast and okay. it will be ready. So it's boiled yeah. already? Boiled, yes. already, yeah. And then you just dice partly, it up. Yeah, partly half cooked it. Mm. And then you smell that curry already. What's been your favorite dish that you've created so far that people really love? Well, at Nahil Mayab, we have a lot of dishes, but I think that our Mayan dishes are good sellers, but yeah. we have the very famous um, mushroom chicken. Mushroom chicken, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is, um, we add cream there, mushrooms, um, cheese, and we serve that with steamed vegetables, um, mashed potatoes, and garlic bread. Yeah. That's, that's a that's very good seller. Every day to have and take out. Well, I'm just going to tell you, after you said it on the show, you're going to have more now. Seller, <laughs> <laughs> guys. So. Okay. Then um, we will add the greased coconut milk. Okay. That's half, half cup. cup. Mm. That smells so good. And in our menu, we do have some curry dishes like yeah. curry shrimps, mm. curry um, snapper. So, mm -hmm. so, so you you have cuisine from all over. Curry is obviously not mine. Yes, yes. Yeah. So our menu yeah. is a variety of a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. We have, of course, the kids menu. We have to cater for the kids. Yeah. And we have a selection for the vegetarian dishes and also the Mayan dishes. Okay. And then, of course, we have pasta selections. We have we have to have our traditional rice and beans. That, yeah. That's, that's a classic for us. And your tacos. And our tacos, of course, that's mm. in the Maya section. Oh, nice. What, what else? Oh, sorry. You finished? Yeah. Um, I will just let it stand like one minute. Okay. And then it's ready to eat out. Nice. And it smells so good, that combination yeah. of coconut and curry. Oh. <laughs> All right. Sounds like I'll have a yeah. feast for breakfast. <laughs> Now, I was okay. asking in terms of what are some of the, the traditional Maya dishes that you have, because we don't get the chance to have Maya dishes on a menu many times. Right, right. Well, my, um, most of our Mayan dishes are from pork. We have like the pork chuk, which is the grilled pork satay with onions and sweet peppers with the handmade tortillas or beans. We have um, what we call chile machucado, it's basically like the onion sauce, but just that the habanero is prepared differently, it's roasted and it's grind. Okay. And then from there, we put lime in it, so it's give it a nice spicy lime flavor in it mm. and some customers do ask just you know an order of that takeout and also we're blended homemade pepper sauce okay so that's all right with it it's served and then we have other dishes like with bean soup uh, when you hear bean soup like hi no I eat beans I eat beans whole but then it's prepared differently with our yeah. nicely spices in it and these girls uh, they do a fantastic job Oh, well, it certainly smells good, so I, I'm very eager to taste as well. So let's move on to our next dish. Um, put the potato on the... Okay, on the platter. There yeah, you go. The oh, so we have our delicious mango salad. Mango salad with curry potatoes. And now we have our curried potatoes. And uh, the next step, I believe, is shrimp. Yeah, that's the shrimp. Mm -hmm. and, of, and of course, it's very easy to prepare. Yeah. One of the e easiest, um, of course, we're going to add um, A mar margarine, of course, grazed mm -hmm. margarine. All right. Only thing with shrimps, guys, that we need to make to remember that we need to prevent overcooking, right? It's, mm -hmm. it's very easy to cook. 
cabbage meat might tend to get tough. So we're gonna add malher, one um, half teaspoon of malher. Um, shrimp consomme. Shrimp consomme, yeah. yeah. Then we have sal de ajo, which is garlic. Yeah. Malher. We have complete, complete seasoning. seasoning, half teaspoon, and black pepper, malher black pepper. See, this is new. Most people are used to the chicken uh, seasoning. This is the shrimp right. seasoning. Yeah. Yeah. That's the beauty with great products that they have a little bit of yeah. everything and that's what these girls do. They put in a little bit of everything on the seasoning and that gives it that nice special flavor. And you know what? The, the logo says it all, bringing good taste to life. Yeah. So that's what we love about <laughs> great products. Almost, not to Oh, you're right. See, shrimp is just something that you like yeah, flip it a couple very, times yeah. and it's done. Yeah. After very the fast. painful process of deveining. Yes, yes. yes. Oh, Marlene, I must quickly mention also, these two ladies are famous. They're in the directory for 2013 BTL directory. Both of them came out on the news. Oh, excellent. Yes. And of course, I, I wanted to say, um, Nayel Mayab uh, is open throughout the week. Is it open yes, at night? Open When's the best time to, for people We're to open on Monday to Saturday. Um, Tuesday to Thursday is from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And on the weekends... Fridays for me is the best time. We have Happy Hour, sponsor, proudly sponsored by Travelers Rum. Mm -hmm. And then we have our nice acoustic music by Mr. Elita Urbina. And the Happy Hour begins from 6 to closing time, which is 11, 11, 30. Oh, that's that's a late Happy Hour. Yes. Yeah, so, Eddie, guys, if you're from Belize City, feel free to stop by, have some drinks and nice food, fantastic food. Don't be scared. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> and you can leave Belize at 5 o'clock and still make yes, Happy Hour yes. in time. <laughs> away from home, but not too away from yeah. home. And it's not that far. Right. Oh, yeah. shrimp is finished. Yeah, yes. he's finished, so mm -hmm. he belongs here. And I like how you label your shrimp as a male. Why go. is it a male? <laughs> 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 okay, don't answer that. <laughs> Looks okay. and smells delicious. Look at that. All right, so this is our mango salad yeah. or curried potatoes and oh, or shrimp. Butter, butter down. Butter. Grace buttered shrimp. Grace buttered shrimp. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, yes, yes. We have the utensils waiting for you. Yeah. Well, we, I, I, I want to get into our drink next, okay, so sure. I, I can't get ahead of myself as yet. All right, all right. It's tempting. <laughs> okay, well, summer is here, guys. Mom, guardians, big sister, big brother. The little brother is running in the yard. In the backfield, are just sitting in the sofa with the tablet. Tablet is, is a popular <laughs> thing. So what to do while well, they're bored, they're, you know complaining or you know giving you a little bit of give them something nice to treat so I'm making here I'm gonna prepare here a lemon use and a fresca so I'm gonna combine it both uh, both of them I'm I put here maybe three fourths of water then I just throw in a little bit here okay so we use the strawberry and the lime mm -hmm. any reason why you chose that combination because it's warm. Okay. It, 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 it's summer, it's warm, and mix it up two of them, just than having just one flavor. Yeah. One flavor is good, like the horchata, you blend mm -hmm. it. I like blended things, you know, kids, kids, kids sweat a lot. And they feel like they have their little frozen drink as well. Yes, so what I do, I chew it in. All right, mm -hmm. and then I chew in some ice. Mm -hmm. You're right, this is great on a hot day, and the kids really get to enjoy it with their straws. Yes, yes, it's, it's summer here, kids are hyper full of energy and get <laughs> bored easily. Mm -hmm. And it's that easy. Just use water and a little bit of ice. Yes. That's it. That's it. No, nothing. No alcohol. <laughs> yeah. No alcohol. All right, let's put this cup over here so the camera can see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. We want people to see you pour oh, that thing. delicious drink. Okay, sure. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That's all right. It happens to all moms, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it is strawberry and lime, and there's several other uh, flavors that you offer. Yes, you can do pina colada, pineapple, a little bit of everything. Okay. See, I make mistakes, just like home, <laughs> moms make mistakes. Especially part, the, kids say, the kitchen is a dirty thing. work, so I have to give credit to that. <laughs> and then I just put in a little garnish, cherries. Kids love cherries, can't go wrong with that. 
And there you have, what do you call this? Well, I just call it a lemon strawberry flavor, but I call it a summer splash flavor. Yes. Summer splash. This one is especially for the kids, for the kids, and that's the kind of feast that you can make at home that looks so delicious. And look at the amount of time it took us to make it. Yeah, I mean, absolutely fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it just took a little bit of prep work in terms of your cutting and cleaning, but yeah. that's it. You get to the stove and it's done pretty fast. Now, ladies, I want to give you the opportunity to uh, tell people why they should go and visit. Even after they've seen this cooking, I'm sure they want to go. Um, but tell us why we should come to Nail Mayab, any kind of specials that you're having. And I know people will look forward to your cooking as well. So go ahead. Uh, well, moms, if you're tired of cooking, where can you come? Come to Orange Walk Nahil Mayab. We have the kids' specials. We have um, uh, we have steamed veggies, but the kids doesn't like veggies. But we have fries, a little bit of fingers, and then we have our places. That's the beauty about Nahil Mayab. Mm -hmm. We have inside with the air conditioner, and then outside in the patio yeah. where we have the swing, the slide for the little ones. Like I mentioned, they're full of energy, hyper, so mm -hmm. they can play around. And they um, can get a summer splash at the same time. They can have a summer splash and the moms could sit down, have a pina colada. Don't worry, I won't make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on behalf of the kitchen. Well, I won't be, I don't, I, I'm going to be brief. I just think that you guys should go to Nahil Mayab because we are the best restaurant in town. <laughs> so. And uh, we also serve fresh food every day. Every day. Yeah. Yeah. The beauty of our food and is prepared to order. To order. To order. Oh, yes. fresh Everything food. is to order. And very important when cooking, your measurements. Mm -hmm. Because of the consistency. So all the time you're cooking, it will taste the same. Yeah, that's the beauty yeah. from us. So we have to, so we, if we have a new member in Nahil Mayab, we have to learn. Yes, you know to do the rice and beans, but yeah. here it's Nahil Mayab rice yes. and beans. And you can get Mayan food on the menu. Of course, right. here we've had a, a feast prepared by the ladies of Nahil Mayab uh, using our favorite Grace products. We want to say thank you to the ladies uh, from Nahil Mayab. We want to say thank you to Grace, and I am ready to start some sampling. So I'm going to take, take a break, and when I come back, we'll have all wrap up so stay tuned Grace and You Cooking Show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited bringing good taste to life